welcome back to George's Gaming Guys. Today I'm going to be doing the intro and review of the Up House at number 43217, and this is made out of 598 pieces. Well, this set does include two minifigures, both of whom are unique. They are Carl Fredrickson and Russell. And this set measures over 10.5 inches or 27 centimeters high, 6 inches or 15 centimeters wide, and 4 inches or 11 centimeters deep. So on the front of the box, you can see the front of the house and the two minifigures and the two other characters that are included in the set. And then on the back, it shows us some other images. It shows the inside of the house, shows um, the living room, I believe. Then it's the outside with some balloons, uh, Russell in the house. And then at the bottom is just the, the balloons outside. And yeah, so overall I think that this is going to be a really nice set when it is built. So without further ado, let's have a look at the finished model. So let's have a look at the minifigures. First of all we have Mr. Fredrickson with the white hair with the walker. He's like beige trousers with the button shirt, bow tie, the jacket, the belt and then the uh, like um, button that he has on his jacket. And then it's just the back of his trousers and then the back of his suede jacket. And overall Mr. Fredrickson is quite a nice minifigure, though he does have two faces. He's got the smiley one, which is obviously looks like really big mouth, and then the really big mouth, uh, like sad and angry one. Now we have Russell. So he's got all of his badges with his hat his uh, smile, smiley face and then his like trousers with a gap in the middle of them at uh, the knees. Um, so he's got loads and loads of badges on the white shirt. And then on his back he has like the tool kit so he's got a few different things including a, a fork, a cup and a frying pan and yeah I think this is a really nice minifigure and that Lego has done a nice job on it. So next we actually have something that isn't a minifigure but is a figure in the set. We have Doug with the electronic collar and the massive nose um, which I do think is actually quite a nice minifigure, quite a nice little addition to the set and I think the Lego has done a brilliant job on it. And yeah so now I've gone over the minifigures so let's have a look at the main model. So now we've gone over the minifigures, this is the finished model and overall I do think that it looks really nice. So first of all let's go over the house. So obviously at the top as you can see they've got the massive massive bundle of balloons and then it's the multi-coloured house with the stickered door and then obviously the hose which you see in the film. And there's not a lot of detail on the outside, obviously there's different colours, there's a few windows, but it's on the inside where all the details start to come out. So if we go for the top floor, we could see over here, he's got his bedroom with a clock, I believe, and a window. It's quite a small bedroom and there's not really a lot in it, it's pretty docile, but it is, it is quite nice. Then on the inside of this room we have a TV as you can see and then we have a book which you can see at the back there which is um, like the, the adventure book and there's a sticker in it that says um, a long time ago I believe. Um, actually I can get it out and show you I think. It is in quite an awkward place there right at the back but you can get it out and plus the, the roof can move so you can get a little bit more room but it's not Oh, it's once upon a time, sorry. But yeah, there's not a lot of room in this. You can't really see that as the light. But yeah, it is a small sticker. Um, but I think it works quite well. And then it does just say my adventure book on the front, as you can see in the different colours. Um, but yes, that is actually it for the first floor. And as you can see, it is a little bit of a pain to get it back in. But because of the light, but <laughs> I'll sort that out. Um, so then we have the uh, ground floor. So on this side, he's got his front door, a clock, and a plant. And then on this side, there is lots and lots of stuff in the room. So you've got the lamp, you've got the the uh, record deck, you've got a few pictures, and then you've got the massive armchair. Um, I do believe that you actually have the um, glass, or the vase that you put the money in um, over time. I do believe that's in the room as well. And yeah, I just think that this set is absolutely full of details. 
and I think the Lego has done an absolutely brilliant job on it and I would really recommend this set. Now just before I finish the video let's go over this part of the model. So this is much smaller bits, obviously this is where they've been inflating the balloons, there's a little squirrel and then there's the post box which uh, the guy touches and he hits um, and then there's like a box there and I do think that this is really nice. I like how they've got the helium canister. I like how they've used the same piece that they use for the hose as the top of the helium canister. I think that, that is really nice. And as you can see, there's one of all the different colours of balloons. And yeah, so overall, I think that this is a brilliant set. I think the LEGO has done really good on capturing the model, or the colours, or the specific details. And I just think that they have done a fantastic job. And I would really recommend the model. And yeah, so thanks again. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts about it. And also make sure you watch out for this Sunday's video, which is going to be Dad's build and review on the newly released Concord.